Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle. I'm a full-time reseller on Poshmark and eBay. My username is MCWare for you, and I will just link that in the description if you want to check out any of my listings, my closets. I've been selling for years and years. So today I have one eBay sale and seven Poshmark sales from over the weekend. And so, yeah, just going to show you what I sold and how much I paid, how much it sold, and how much I profited for educational purposes only. So I'm going to start with the eBay. Um, I sold some vintage Sam Edelman flats. They're just green and embellished and pretty like new, really cool little face in the back. So those are going to be going ground off to Florida and they sold for $30 and I profited 20 when um, you account that I spent $6 for them and eBay fees. So I'm going to ship them in a poly padded mailer. So let's see. Second thought, I'm going to, I don't have my papers that I need to wrap them, so I'm going to push them over here, but I'm going to ship them actually ground in one of these envelopes, and then I'm going to put them in a padded envelope because for eBay, I try to, I try to ship everything ground to give the buyer a break on shipping. Priority mail is, I think, up to the padded envelopes. I think they're like 1080 now, which is pretty absurd. But um, by shipping ground, they save like three or four dollars. It goes by weight. So when you put them in a regular envelope for protection and then added protection, slip in a padded envelope. And they are going to, I did that wrong. It's supposed to be padded envelope and then this. We'll handle with that after. They're going to Florida, Orlando, Florida. Let's just jump right into the next one. So now we're going to be starting with the Poshmark orders. And I sold three pairs of earrings. There we go. Three pairs of earrings. And they sold for $45. And my earnings are $36. All right. So I take them all. And I, they are going to Mississippi, Petal, Mississippi. And I ship them in these little boxes. All right. My next sale was this Metallica. I've been sitting on this for a very long time. It was a size small. I think if it was a large or extra large, it would have moved out so much quicker. I paid $6.99 for it over a year ago, and it sold for $35 which was an offer, and my profit was only $28, and even less because $6.99, so technically about 20 bucks profit, which is still good because I wouldn't pick up a small one again, but it's still $20. $20 is $20, and I would have had to work a couple hours or an hour to make that. Eddie Coin by Posh, so I'm doing a Tvec um, envelope. Trying to get better at multitasking, guys. All right. Next, I have a bra. Always seems to be a bra. I put it in, an, in a little plastic bag with a couple stickers. And it is a lively bra, size 38B. And this is how lively looks. Lively is a pretty good brand to pick up. Uh, I think I picked this up maybe a month ago. Normally I sell larger size bras. In fact, I usually don't even pick up smaller size. Um, smaller size, and when I say smaller size, I mean under like an E or an F even. Because they usually sit, oops, they usually sit for me. But since this is a good brand, it did not sit. Again, with the Tyvek label, and this is going to Virginia. They're having a lot of Virginia sales. Most sales do still go to Texas, California, and Florida. Mostly Texas. I don't know if any other resellers, if you're reselling, you're watching. Comment below if you find that. Like, what's your, what's your top state that you sell to? Because I am super curious whether it's just algorithm or not on mine 
All right, next was a also kind of a bad buy. It was a Kate Spade. Um, it says Foxy Lady. It has a little fox on it. Here we go, Foxy Lady. And I took a 20, it was a t-shirt. I took a $27 offer. I think I had it for 35, as you know, Kate Spade. Now yeah, it's not as popular as it once was, but it still has a following. And again, this is on Posh, so I'm using just a bubble wrap. Mailer, those, um, those anything priority mail you can get free from the post office go to post office the united states post office.com and click free because they also sell things but all these shipping materials are free it doesn't have to come out of your pocket and they deliver right to your door within i think about two weeks so that is going to virginia all right all right so now we got some earrings so these little wooden earrings sold and they sold for $13, how cute. And that made me a profit of $8.03 after fees. I buy earrings in bulk, state sales, yard sales, antique stores, uh, sometimes even on one platform and flip on the other. And I buy them in bulk and then I take the time to clean them all and list them all individually. And um, when I buy them in bulk, I think I get maybe like 50 pairs for like 20 bucks. So it's, um, I'm happy with an $8 profit. That is going to Arizona. All right, two more pairs. The next were these cute little mod cloth-ish wooden fish. And again, they sold for 13 and my profit was 803 and I will wrap those off camera to not bore you. The last pair, as you can see, I kind of changed up my little way that I'm shipping them. I was using this um, grass, but for just one pair, I'm just putting them in these little plastic um, three by four clear poly bags. And the little card there are these little cards that I got off of AliExpress. And they just look like that, thanking the person for the business. So if it's just one pair of earrings, I'll put up push them through the card and put them in the bag, add a few stickers, add an additional thank you sticker, and off they go. They're going to Nevada, Montana. Interesting. So there you have it. Those were my seven Poshmark sales and one eBay sale. Very quick little video um, because I have a lot to do today. Again, I thank you for watching. If you are interested in checking out my closet, reselling in general, any questions or anything, just shoot me up in the comments and I will answer everybody. Thanks for watching. Love you. Bye.